Hey, what's happening? What's going on, everybody? My name is Matt, in case you don't know who I am. Welcome to this YouTube channel where we talk about day trading futures. This is a reminder that every morning, Monday through Friday, we are live trading here on YouTube. So make sure you press the subscribe button and the bell notifications so that you know when we're going live every morning at Market Open, 8.30 Central. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about the top five things that I wish someone would have told me as I was beginning my trading journey. Number one is that there are lots of different trading strategies out there. There's so many, right? Uh, and it's important to have a lot because you don't wanna just throw all your eggs into one basket. Uh, you feel like you've perfected this thing and then the market changes like it always does, right? The market's always moving. We're gonna have times with high volatility, meaning the markets are moving super fast up and down one day. And then other times where the market's kind of ranging, uh, it's consolidating, it's moving slower. Usually, you're gonna need multiple strategies for each of these types of days. So, the number one thing, have lots of different trading strategies. Never stop learning while you're trading, right? Number two is kind of piggybacking off of number one, which is there's a lot of people out there who talk about trading, a lot of different trading groups, etc. Listen to everybody, listen to all of them. Uh, take it all with a grain of salt, but you're gonna hear a lot of bad stuff trading related a lot of times and you kind of just have to let it go in one ear out the other. But sometimes you're gonna get that nugget of information that's the light bulb moment in your head of, aha, that's how I do that. And that only comes from getting a ton of information processed through your brain about trading and opening up all of those different fields of people coming in and speaking into your life, right? Uh, one group is linked down below, it's our free trading chat, check it out. So, I've learned a ton from people, everybody across the board, right? I've learned a ton from, I've learned a ton from YouTube, et cetera, and that just all requires a little bit of filtering, but it's important to still let it come in and go out. Number three is don't over leverage. This is surprisingly simple, yet so hard to do sometimes. Uh, over leveraging is where you are overexposing yourself to a trade, meaning I am putting in too much money into this trade. It's way too risky for me. I'm putting my account at risk. I am uh, putting in so much money that like every time the stock or futures or whatever is moving, it's moving a large amount of my account balance. Over leveraging is typically caused by greed. Um, we can see how much money we can make so fast, but the flip side of that is that we can also lose a ton of money really fast. So it's important to not over leverage. I wish someone would have told me that way sooner. Uh, definitely a hard part of my trading journey. Slow and steady is not sexy, but it gets you money, right? Number four is you're gonna lose money. No matter what, you're gonna lose money. Uh, and it is about being consistent in how you bounce back, right? Um, and so this is definitely a part of my own trading journey. It's a part of anybody who's watching this video. Uh, you're gonna have losing days. It's a given with trading, especially if you're trading every single day, right? Um, and so it's about living to trade the next day, living to trade the next week. Um, not over leveraging yourself into some crazy loss, but being able to say, okay, like today's not my day. How can I get better for tomorrow? What can I do to study for tomorrow? What strategies can I improve? Who can, what podcast can I listen to? Who can I learn from in order to help mitigate these losses, right? But it's important to be consistent in bouncing back. That's not necessarily saying bouncing back into a green PL, hopefully it is, but it's more saying, I've got to be consistent about my drive to be better as a trader and to come back every single day wanting to be better, right? Number five, I wish someone would have told me about Top Step way back when, um, several years ago. It would have been great. I've risked so much of my own money. I've lost so much of my own money throughout my trading process and learning how to be a better trader. Top Step is just a company and there's lots of other companies as well. I just use Top Step. Uh, it's a proprietary firm to where if you show them through a two-step process that you're a good trader, they actually give you money to trade with. And you get to keep 80% of the profits, they take 20, they take all of the risk, all of the margin requirements. Um, so if you're interested in that, it's linked down below. It also is really good for risk management and just becoming a better trader overall. So definitely good for beginners, intermediates, and experts alike. I wish someone would have told me about it. Uh, no one did until a year and a half ago and I haven't looked back since. So those are my top five ways that I wish someone would have told me back in the day to be a better trader, and that's just through my experience. All right, so make sure you subscribe if you're interested in the live day trading. It happens every morning, 
Monday through Friday at Market Open, 8.30 Central. Press the subscribe button down below. Press the thumbs up button down below if any of these things apply to you, if you wish someone would have told you these things as well. Trading is a learning journey and we are all on it. So I will see you in the next video. Have a great rest of your day, week, month, whatever it is. Have a good one. Peace.